All right, so I wanna talk a little bit about how to do some underscoring, at least what we're going to try for a little while. We don't do this all the time, but I think it's better than playing like a song or something like that. You can kind of play a progression and you can kind of work that around, but this is a nice one because it creates some tension and release and you can work a lot of different details into it. And at a really super simple level, it's a C in your right hand and then a walking progression in your left. So a measure of each. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. And so that's the basic progression right there. And so with this C up here, less is actually more. So if you're looking for something that's really, really light, like if there's um, just a prayer moment or something like that, I mean, literally something like this is a really good. Just doing that really simple thing is a great, I mean, there's just a little bit of, just a little bit of music back there. You can even take a move it up an octave. Although this gets a little bit bright sometimes. And so I think sticking down here right around kind of where middle C would be, which would be here. So um, you could then play um, two notes in the bass. And you just see we're just playing the first note and that's it. Now let's add some more interest to it. So there's a couple ways to do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this G below the C just for those, the one and the five of the chord. Just adds a little bit. You feel the tension right there. We're playing that that D. So we have effectively right here, we're talking about a, a G sus. So there's that D. And there, that's really the completion of the C chord, but with an E in the bass. And there's the F, and you see the F, we're really at an F2 without the third. And now what, what really makes this work is when you count it like this. One, two, three, four, and one. At those leading notes so that four and or you can do it on the and as well so you go one two three four two three four two three four and just holding that one letting that kind of ring and then doing some things right before the change so like a one two three four and, and i can just kind of add a little bit of that Now, you can keep on going with other things too. This is a very flexible progression. You can do things like. That all sounds like Hill Street Blues. Can't incline it on that. Maybe the suspended. And you can just resolve back to there. So there's tons and tons of things you can do with just making it bigger. I can put the whole C chord in, for example. And here I'm almost leading out this little guy. really big as to kind of match wherever the speaker is or you can bring it right back down right there really easily kind of work that around and then up and down just kind of follow along um, as you go so I think that's it uh, go ahead and give that a try and just experiment it's super fun just to sit down and play and uh, work out all kinds of different uh, little things you can play during that time. Thanks.